What is up, my beautiful fishing friends? Welcome to another episode of Dan Richard Fishing. Guys, I am so sorry. I have been neglecting my YouTube duties. It's been like three or four weeks since I've posted a video. I am, I'm ashamed. But today we got some fresh, spicy new content. Okay, it's not that spicy actually, really. Uh, we're gonna talk about wiring batteries in series and in parallel. So often in my videos we talk about uh, wiring up batteries for trolling motors and electronics and I get a lot of questions about uh, how do I wire it in series and what's the difference if I wire it in parallel? How do I charge it? All that good stuff. So today we're gonna discuss this specifically. So we're gonna get into series versus parallel and then we're gonna talk about some tips about wiring it and how to charge it, all that good stuff, all right? So stay tuned and we're gonna go through it. And of course, guys, as always, all I ask for in return for putting these videos together is just smack the like button if you get something out of this content. And of course, make sure you're subscribed and you hit the bell notification and all that YouTube stuff, okay? Let's get crack a lacking. So what is the difference between wiring your batteries in series and in parallel? What does that give us? So it's actually pretty easy. Wiring something in series means that you're increasing the voltage of your battery output, whereas wiring something in parallel, you're increasing the overall capacity of the batteries. When you have a 24 or a 36 volt trolling motor and you wanna use several 12 volt batteries to power it, well then you're gonna wire it in series. So two batteries wired in series will give you 24 volts and three will give you 36 volts. Now if your application is on a large boat or for whatever reason you wanna increase your overall amp hours, your overall battery capacity, but stay at 12 volts, well then you wire up your batteries in parallel. So this will actually maintain the same voltage, but you'll actually increase your overall capacity. So as an example, let's say you've got two 12 volt batteries that are rated for 100 amp hours each. So if you were to wire these in series, you're gonna get 24 volts of power for 100 amp hours total. If you were to wire those same batteries in parallel, you're actually gonna have 12 volts, but you're gonna have 200 amp hours of battery capacity. So you've basically doubled your capacity while maintaining your voltage. And in series, you've doubled your voltage, but you've maintained the same battery capacity. Okay, so next up, I'm gonna show you how to wire this. But before we do that, I wanna caveat this with a couple of little sort of warnings. Uh, one, uh, the crossover cables that I have, or these cables that I use, these are older cables that I made in one of my first ever tutorial videos. Uh, you can actually see here that they are copper. So you don't ideally want to use raw copper uh, just because of corrosion with the water, especially in salt water. Now I keep all my connections really clean, uh, and you can see there's actually almost no corrosion on these whatsoever, and I haven't cleaned them since last year. But ideally, recommended if you wanna go with the standards, please make sure you use tin copper, all right? And the difference is, these will be silver in color, not copper color, okay? Same thing for the wiring, you wanna use tinned wiring. So you can see this here, this is wiring that I use in the boat now. This is tinned copper and that's why it's silver, okay? So make sure you're using the right components, okay? And everything that I link, even in my old tutorials, everything that I link to is all tinned copper components, okay? And I'll have links in the description below for wiring and lugs and all that good stuff, okay? Okay guys, uh, what you're looking at right here are a pair of group 31 deep cycle batteries, okay? And we're gonna start off by wiring them in series. Now I've shown this many, many times uh, in this compartment right here. So I took, the, I took all the batteries out of the compartment just to make it easier for you guys to see. So I've got the batteries lined up. So this is positive, positive, negative, negative, okay? So we're gonna pretend we are installing a 24 volt trolling motor, okay? And so we've got two 12 volt batteries and we need them to be 24 volts. So the first step we're gonna do is we're gonna wire up the trolling motor, okay? So we're gonna put the negative of the trolling motor on one battery and the positive of the trolling motor on the other battery, okay? So let's wire that up first. So here is the negative cable for the trolling motor. So let's go ahead and connect that. Of course, guys, you wanna make sure you use a wrench, tighten your stuff down properly or a socket wrench. Make sure these are nice and tight. Okay. And then next up, we've got our trolling motor cable. I actually have it connected to a 60 amp breaker, right? So your trolling motor, all your electronic devices should be on fuses or these very high amperage devices on a breaker like this, okay? And this is a 60 amp breaker, which is what's recommended for that trolling motor. Now we're gonna go ahead and connect it to the positive. OK, 
Okay. All right, trolling motor is installed. Okay, so negative and positive is connected to the trolling motor. So next up, we need to use a crossover cable to connect these two batteries together from the negative of one battery to the positive of the other battery. So in this case, I actually have a cable specifically for that. Um, and you can see I've actually labeled it black on one side. So this is the side that goes on the negative and that's the side that goes on the positive. So this will get wired up exactly like this. And we'll connect this guy. And that's all there is to it. You are now running these batteries in series. You are delivering the total battery capacity of one battery. So let's pretend these are both 100 amp hours, 100 amp hours. You don't combine the capacity, it's the single capacity. So if this is 100 amp hours, this is 100 amp hours, you're delivering 100 amp hours of battery capacity to the trolling motor at 24 volts. Okay, next up, I'm gonna show you guys how to wire these up in parallel, okay? So that means that we've got a 12 volt application, all right? So in this particular case, let's pretend we have a 12 volt trolling motor, or we can pretend that we simply have a 12 volt output. So let's say we're powering a large boat that needs a ton of battery capacity, but it's a 12 volt system and they're using an inverter to power a microwave or whatever. So we're gonna first wire up uh, the power output. So we're gonna start off by taking the positive and connecting it to one battery. So this is the positive that's going to the 12 volt trolling motor or whatever, the 12 volt wiring harness system of the boat. And then we're gonna grab the negative cable and the negative is going to go on the negative of the other battery, okay? So positive on one battery, negative of the other. Then we're gonna take a crossover cable and we're gonna connect it to the positive of one battery and connect it to the positive of the other battery. Then we can go ahead and tighten this down. Okay, and then, unfortunately, I don't have another cable that's crimped, but we'll just use this as, as an example. Let's pretend we've got crimps on both ends of this. You would then go ahead and attach the cable to both sides, to both negative posts, connecting this negative to this negative. Okay, and you would go ahead and tighten that up. And there you go. You now have these two batteries connected to each other, and then you have the positive of the 12 volt device on one battery and the negative on the other. And there you go, you're now wired up in positive, so you now have a 12 volt system, but with the combined amp hours of both batteries. Now, if you wanted a third battery, you could add another third battery and you just need to do the same setup. So let's pretend we were to put a battery over here, a third battery, you would move this positive that's going to the 12 volt device, the trolling motor, the boat, whatever, you would move it to that third battery and then you would wire this positive to the positive of the third battery and this negative to the negative of that battery. And that's it, you're done. And you can do this as many times as you want. Uh, you know, some large boats will have, you know, a bank of six of these batteries all parallel like this. So that's it, that's how you do it. Another popular question on these different kinds of wiring is, how do I charge these batteries? Do I need a single bank? Do I need a dual bank? Like what kind of charger do I need? So now you guys have seen my charger video. So if you haven't seen my, uh, my bank charging video that I did a while back, uh, I'll put a link in the description to it below so you can see how to install a battery. But basically my answer to that is, you need a charging bank for every battery in the boat. It doesn't matter if they're in series or in parallel, okay? And the reason why is because modern day chargers uh, that we have now, they actually individually test your batteries. So they test them, they maintain them, they charge them separately. So they can actually detect if a battery is defective or not holding a charge. So just because you buy two batteries at the same time doesn't necessarily mean that they'll die at the same time, right? So one battery could just be defective or you know conk out after a year and the other one's good for five years. So ideally, you wanna make sure you bank charge them separately, okay? So you can see here on my setup over here, I actually have two separate banks. So you're gonna hook them up as though the batteries were separated. So one bank will go to the negative and positive of one battery and the other bank will go to the negative and positive of the other battery. Now, theoretically, if your batteries are wired in parallel, you can use one bank, all right? So you can hook up one bank to one battery. It actually doesn't matter which one, as long as you hook it up to one of the batteries, and it will charge the other battery as well. But again, you're not testing the battery, you're not getting any kind of diagnostics on your individual battery. So if one is dead, you will have no idea. Your battery uh, charger simply won't be doing its job. Now, if these are in series, 
You definitely can't. So when these are in series, you can only charge one battery at a time. So don't even try that. But again, my recommendation is always make sure you have one bank per battery. So if you've got four different batteries in the boat, make sure you have a four bank charger. All right, guys, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you found this video helpful as always. And of course, again, make sure you smash the like button and make sure you subscribe, all that good stuff for more awesome weekly content when I remember to do videos. And I will see all of you beautiful people on the next segment. All right, thanks so much, guys. We got lots more coming up. Oh, and I'm doing some secret shopping. Uh -uh. For those of you that are watching on Instagram and you check out my stories, you may have noticed a certain little something something that was in my cart. Uh, so we're gonna be talking about that pretty soon. I'm gonna be building uh, an ice fishing rig out of my Garmin that is sitting on my console over there right now. So I'm sure you guys will like that. We've got other good stuff. Oh, wait a minute. There's one more thing we need to do. One more little thing we need to do. We need to draw a new winner. Guys, does nobody want $350 in baits? Honestly, I don't know what the problem is. So stick around. We're gonna go upstairs really quick. We're gonna go draw a new winner on our famous random spreadsheet. All right, let's go upstairs. Okay guys, really quick, sorry. And there's like no lighting setup or anything. It's like a mess in here. So look, let's look at the screen. I'm gonna go really, really dark probably. And uh, let's see who our new winner is, okay? Here we go. Okay, so here we go. Hopefully that is kind of, you can see that. All right, here we go. All right, the winner winner is 5060. All right, let's go to column 5060. Whoa, 5060, where are you? 5060, here we go. Start to the K, it is King 78 Cobra. King 78 Cobra, you are, the, it's oddly specific, but okay. You are the new winner, congratulations. Contact me, PM me, DM me, whatever, on Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. You just won $350 of baits, my top 30 favorite baits. Contact me and I'll ship them to you. Please, for the love of God, contact me. I'm tired of people ghosting me, all right? See you guys, peace.